uh, my screen is it visible or not? My screen is visible, right? Yes. So uh, today's topic is on S3. Okay, that's cool. S3, this is very useful and very important service for me. Important service mm. in uh, it's a so we have before going to start on that S3, we have to know how many types of storage class in the AWS. Okay, mm. so AWS has basically two types of storage class. Okay, one is your standard storage that is block level storage, another is your object storage. So S3 comes under your object store. Whatever we are going to upload in the S3 buckets, okay. that's are our objects. Okay. It might be structured data, it might be unstructured data. Unstructured data means it might be your file, it might be your PDFs, it might be your images, videos, whatever you can upload, that is treated as an object over there. Okay. In the S3 bucket. Hi, Koshik. Hi, everyone. Hi. Sorry, I was on another call. I have call. already started. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Sorry, I was on another call. So, thank you, Koshik. Yeah. And Amazon and S3 is a storage uh, that can be maintained and access over the internet service. Okay. So, there are many ways we can upload our code or our object inside the S3. That directly can upload through the service. They, or you can download as a Amazon S3 CLI. CLI you have to install and configure in your machine. Then you can also upload. And uh, other third party plugins also be there. That one of them, one of is your S3 browser or cloud building. One of them you can use. So it's an external agent you can call for uploading your files and folders into the S3 browsers or in the S3 server. Is object okay and Amazon S3 provides a web service that can be used to store and retrieve unlimited amount of data. It's a globally by default and bucket and region specific. It's your region okay. That's our buckets, whatever we have created inside that S3 packet, that is all region specified. Means there are multiple regions, right? In the Amazon so region e waste. E, west one, west one, west, uh, east, west, north, south, every region. So it's a region specific, and whatever name we have provided for the bucket case, and that is globally unique. Globally unique means if I will create one bucket with one name, that name anybody cannot be used for further bucket creation. That is globally unique. And the features of the S3 is that the fault tolerance is very less. So user get 99.99% durability. And new user get 5 GB of Amazon S3 standard storage. So 5 GB storage you can get for any buckets after that. And S3 provides encryption to the data that you store, whatever data you can store. That is encrypted format in two ways. There is two encryption format. One is client side encryption, another is server side encryption. You can uh, we can provide for the S3, and multiple copies are maintained to enable the re regeneration of data in case of data corruption. So we can replicate our data. Means some uh, our uh, data we have uploaded. That data we want to. Uh, we uh, we thought that after 13 days or 40 days we can move the data to glacier that is another service that uh, those data are not important we can move the data so we can also this kind of provision in the history okay so it's basically s3 storage class has three uh, there are types if we define the types and of S3 storage class that is S3 standard, S3 standard IA, intelligent tiering, S3 one zone IA, 
एस्ट्रिक ग्लेशियर एंड एस्ट्रिक ग्लेशियर डीप आर्काइव सो ग्लेशियर इज अ सर्विस व्हेन वी कैन इट्स ट्रीटेड एज अ बैकअप मींस वी कैन ट्रीट दिस सर्विस एज अ बैकअप सर्विस मींस आवर डेटा वी हैव स्टोर मींस इफ एंटरप्राइज आर्किटेक्चर वी आर वर्किंग सो सो मेनी डेटा वी कैन अपलोड सो मेनी कोड्स वी कैन अपलोड फॉर द एस्ट्रिक सो ऑल डेटा विल नॉट बी यूज्ड एट अ टाइम सो वी कैन आल्सो क्रिएट द बैकअप फॉर एस्ट्रिक is a glacier service okay and uh, the now we are going to in, uh, show three ways how we can upload our code base our objects in the s3 buckets uh, that is one is your amazon's uh, your s3 cli that you, it will be available in that aws amazon.com.cli we have to install that person This is the document of how we can install that S3 and AWS site is your AWS Amazon.com CLI. This is a command line interface, okay. So you can configure at your site that I want to show how we can configure this is you can download. and one more thing uh, i want uh, this is the uh, version you can install and configure how you can install that i will just show in that demo and one uh, more important things for the s3 that is in s3 standard the durability i told that 99.99 percent and the storage cost for the object is fairly high but there is very less charge for accessing the object means when you accessing the data from the S3 buckets, that time the charge means every frequent is chargeable in the Amazon. So when I upload something and we can try to consume at our end, that charge is very less from the S3 bucket. That's why we have EC2 server, we have many uh, processing uh, uh, server like EC2, AWS, Amplify, many uh, where we can store our data. But S3 is cheaper than all of this. So we can, that's why S3 is very popular and uh, support the SSL support your uh, for uh, your transition for encryption of data at your site. And also that Amazon S3 standard IA, which is a data that is access less frequent. So all the storage class is there, AWS, Amazon S3 standard, S3 standard I, S3 intelligent, is, uh, these are storage class, but most of them are using the S3 standard. So how we can upload some uh, your files folder in the S3 that I will just show. You can see that console and uh, well, one more thing that everybody has access your Amazon console means if my account has been created for all of those. Hello. Yes. So you have created your uh, Amazon S3 console, right? S3 console. Yeah, I have. No, no, no. S3 console. Mm -hmm. You have able to log in in the AWS, right? That ah. I'm asking. Hmm. Uh, sorry. I'm facing some issue in the login, so I'll connect after the meeting with you regarding that. 
but uh, you when you start so morning you have to uh, notify me na so yeah. that if you cannot hands on until and unless the course the session is useless i'm very frank on that means whatever that i have shown the demo for ec2 server in 20 right how we can store that data how we can access but you are not going to practice then that like the, the session is useless for me as if you not if you think that you are going to show the video and that you are able to do this very very you are not going that way we have to practice this thing okay that's yes. all yes i can actually face the problem that then in the morning you can call me or i can notify you that i can help you to this kind of thing okay and i have also shared that the steps how you have to create the aws the management console means the how to log in in the aws that i also share in the pdf format have you got uh, through this yes i went through that too Okay, I'll uh, after this call after six six o'clock we can meet. Okay. Okay. And we will discuss this. This is S three bucket. You can see the S three is there. Oh. So many ways you can reach at the console. So that's the we are the first page of the S3. So you can see that one option I will that is available, create bucket. Okay. Every object, I'm told that S3, whatever you have uploaded, is stored as the object. So, uh, you can also, you can see the calculator, how the price will be going on for the S3. The calculator, also you can get the AWS calculator, the S3. So, you have to create your estimate. You can see that this thing, but first you have to create the bucket. First, this is the option. So this is this is the screen where you can create your bucket. This is a bucket name you have to provide. One minute. Now you can see that this bucket uh, name is not be available in the global, globally unique. So this name is not available. So that's why it's not not show any error or I will go that demo. Name should be unique, huh? Yes, yes, name should be globally unique, okay? Yeah. So I'll just uh, try to show that this thing. So it's your AWS region, okay? In which region you're going to create your bucket. So in my case, I will take this one, UST one, okay? And that, then that object ownership, by default, that ACL, this, these things I will do it, okay? ACL means your uh, object level access. So all objects in these buckets are owned by this account, so it's recommended. Access to the bucket and the objects are using only policy. So there are certain policies on the S3 buckets. So these policies, by default, you, you can take this one, ACL 
recommendation okay and then we have to uncheck this box otherwise what happened whatever and one more important thing of the s3 bucket by default whatever we can create that is the private when we are going to access the bucket until and unless we have to do something otherwise the bucket whatever we are uploading the objects the files the unstructured data whatever that is privately accessible you have to forcefully make it public otherwise the entire world we cannot see whatever in this bucket so bucket or public access we have to uncheck it okay and you have to acknowledge that and bucket version will also be there that i will show in the next portion of demo and tag that is the optional you can for the markup for the mapping internally this tag is used so that uh, you can also go to that name demo react whatever name you can uh, provide that bucket and then simply we are going to create bucket now you can see that bucket the same name already exists so where it always it is exit that means bucket name is globally unique we cannot create the bucket with the same name we cannot create the bucket okay demo one you can see this is also exists. so whatever name you have put inside the input box for the bucket creation is calculate the entire region this name is unique this name is not used so uh, then we can all also only allow for creation of bucket or demo bucket this name also be there we have this name is unique i am just going to this this way create bucket you can see that successfully created bucket this message we can go right <coughs> You can see that um, demo bucket and region US East North Virginia. Here my bucket has been created. The creation date also be there. Now you can go into enter inside the bucket. Okay, this is the place where you have to upload your objects. So I'm going to upload one thing. Taking that part, add files. You can see that cloud peak is already uploaded and status is success means i have uploaded this bucket okay so it's s3 bucket is just like a hard, hard disk no it's a not hard disk it's an object okay and it's coming as a service Achha. you are not going to process anything okay we are not going to configure any server Achha. it's a by default service which is provided by the s3 okay Achha. it's Achha. not a, any you cannot process any you can you cannot processing anything you cannot it's not running any server side uh, code over there okay Achha. whatever the process the output file you can store okay. you cannot processing this thing okay got it okay now you can see that cloud peak whenever you click that <clears throat> the summary the overview is there okay the owner the region the last modified what what the size that 4.6 TB the type of the objects okay the jpg but everything is there now i'm going to trying to access this thing this is the url okay whatever you can see so i told you now earlier the s3 by default is private it is not public so you can see that access denied so some authentication or authorization purpose it not allowing that cloud feature in 
in the URL. Okay. So is there one way that you can see the by default? If you click that link, we cannot see anything. It's simply that access is denied. You cannot see anything because by default it is blocked from the history because you can also only see other users the entire world they are not able to see this thing so how we can see that thing and if one thing it's open you can see if i will open then it is accessible but one response means this encryption that token is added okay this is for you that's why it's applied and that is it is available in the browser but every time we cannot see this type of link because that is for your encryption purpose you are a user that way that is authenticated and that will show so i'll go to the bucket this is the bucket you can see that You have to make it public, public option uh, that is coming from this Swing disable, but we have to enable this part. Option is not so you create another option.
shall this permission you have to enable. It recommended upload. Yes. Uh, make it public. Mm -hmm. You can keep the public one thing. Close it. Click this link. Copy the object URL and this link is uh, applicable from anywhere. It means you can also try. You can also see this image will be available in this link. So by default it's private. We have to make it public for up, uh, make it means accessible from the anywhere. That's why. Okay. Now. Second option is that in that bucket, I will show the parceling. Parceling means uh, the if you add the same files again and again, so it will keep the history records. If you have record, it will also keep inside this bucket. So uh, that is also helpful. Means Whatever we can create, if we can delete something, that person also be it can be recorded through the person. The person you have to enable it by default. It's not enabled. And create bucket. I'm going to add these things and go your properties. You can see that bucket versioning. Versioning is the means. Of keeping multiple variant of an object in the same bucket. If I'll create one ext file and we add some name changes, PBS person, whatever the content inside the bucket, it can be stored and it can be available if we will make it enabled. By default, bucket versioning is disabled and edit. And we have to keep remember one thing. Bucket versioning once enabled, you cannot disable it. It can be suspend. There is two options. You can see suspend and enable. So if I will enable the bucket versioning, you cannot disable. Either you have to suspend or enable this thing. So enable. After enable enable the bucket versioning, you might need to update your lifecycle rules to manage previous version of object. So save changes. Okay. Bucket. You can show that one checkbox is coming so versatile. In this file, their person ID is null. I am not adding anything. While uploading this cloud pick there, that time I not enable the bucket version. So let's see, I'll create one bucket, uh, one file. Upload this thing. Add files. Upload. Okay. 
hello text one version id is generated previously it was none one version id is generated okay now i have modified something and try to access the same thing try to upload the same thing inside the bucket okay mm -hmm. Now, if I will, you can see one hello dot txt and nested this thing will be happen. So, if I will click this thing hello dot txt, content to content you can see. So, that so. And you can see that version ID is different. Two version ID is being kept. It is very useful. Open it. Access to open. You can see the previous version I will write only one text. This is my first bucket. Now, updated bucket, updated uh, update the text, change something inside the bucket. The two version it's enabled. Two version it can keep with this version ID. Okay. Is any query is there? Hello. Discussion. Yes, yes. There is no query, right? No. Okay. Now, uh, how to upload through the CLI or how to upload through the third party package that I have told that S3 browser or the that uh, in my case I have added CloudBerry. It's also one explorer okay you can also upload the same thing instead of you also upload the same thing from your bucket okay from this portion you have to configure it first for that configuration one changes it you have to do in your case This is, a, this is the source and that would be the your destination. Okay. So many options are there, right? Amazon S3, Glacier, Alibaba, many things, many storage place. You can see here. In my case, I will go to go to Amazon S3. Now you have to provide the access and secret key because you are going trying to access the bucket from your third party package, right? That Cloud Body Explorer. 
so that's why you have to configure the authentication like we are going to create the login after login it's one authentication api call right and then we can going to access the data over here the same thing the access key and secret key you have to provide it if you're going to access the bucket from your remote show so from where i will get the access key and secret key my case you have to go iam that is one policy iam manage access to aws resource so this service will provide the access for the resources okay it will come iam management policy You have to create one user by default i have only one user so i am going to create another user to show how you can access this so add your user username test demo user you can see that access key programmatic access and password so in my case i will only allow the access key. It will provide the access key and secret key ID for the AWS API CLI SDK. All kind of things we need some access key and secret. Next permission. Now you have to attach the exist the attach some policy. This policy attach. This is your S3 policy. Okay, full access. This is nothing but some JSON. You can see it's a JSON someone. It means the effect allow and action is three star. Star means everything we can allow, means we can upload, update, write, read from the bucket. So this is your full S3 bucket policy. You can create your own policy also. So next key name is optional and then create your user. You can see that access key and secret key will be provided you can also download from here so open that okay this you can get your access key and secret key now go to the management console try to create one bucket first here yeah. yeah. from that cloud bill see what happens this is your access key Copy that key. Paste it. Secret key. Copy this one. Scan them. Just them. No. Paste your connection. Try to access or not from that access key, secret key. We are just going to test it. Okay. Connection success. That means it are trying to establish the connection and go. You can see that it's three demo and test demo is there. I'll create another one. One is using stud account is three demo. Refresh new storage account. You can see the new demo bucket, two buckets, right? In the test demo in that region. 
Okay. You can create one bucket from here. Bucket name cloudberry. Okay. You can see the bucket location also be there. This is the option. Okay, this is not commercial version. Actually, you are not going to create. upload these things. Inside the demo bucket, I'm going to add this JSON file. Okay, this path you have to copy. Go there. This is your source. Copy and go. So state the JSON inside me my demo bucket. Go to the demo bucket. You can see state the JSON file also. So from that cloud query, once we access to the separate key and access key, we can able to upload the things over there. Now create one folder, folder name React Demo. On the React website, I am going to add same thing. React Demo. Just Refresh it. You can see the React demo. This folder is created. I am going to upload from here, not that cloud store. In this URL. Go to my words. Awesome. React JS. File copy the build file. This eight folder I'm going to set the React demo. Take some time. Now, just replace. You can see. That the entire thing is uploaded over there. Action. Okay, this bucket is not publicly available because that time ACL was not enabled, right? I'm going to upload the thing here. Okay. New demo bucket. Same thing in the new demo bucket. I will upload these things.
Okay, once you upload that time is empty. Means cut, which we are going to paste entirely. It, it, it will be showing the message when public read access and anyone in the world can access the PCB object. For front end, we can also make it public, otherwise, in the entire world you can access. Some error might be come because that configuration of that JavaScript file. That's not, you can see some image from you. Know, you can see that we can upload the files you know, from that cloud. Any queries? No. Okay. Now, same thing, alternative way, that is that your AWS CLI. So, AWS CLI, you have to install first from this package. In my case, I have already installed. Okay. So this thing you have to install. To install or not, how we can understand? This is the command AWS version. Okay. 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 In the version, it is showing that AWS CLI 2.6.4. This version, if you are not installing that. Configure uh, this thing, AWS CLI. It will never come. It's showing the error. Okay, this command, whatever we are going to upload, download, whatever we will do th these things. So we are using that AWS. Next point is that you have to configure. I have configured here, right? That access key and secret key. You have to configure through script, AWS. It will take some time and ask your access key ID. Same thing, we will provide copy, paste, secret key. Copy, paste. Your region is if to provider is optional, you can provide or not. It's up to you. But I'm not add anything. Use this one. Format JSON. If it is true error, that means your configuration configuration is not working. Okay. So in my case, it does not throw any error. And I'm going to list the all buckets. What is inside that in my history that I want to see in my console. How you can do that? 
ls mean it will list down your all buckets name if my configuration is success then we demo bucket and new demo bucket create these two buckets list starts showing right demo bucket and new demo bucket all operation you can do from your console okay and if something inside that bucket you can also list down ws s3 ls or demo bucket via this is your bucket name okay you can see these three objects and what time i have created and that they are storage capacity means the how many kb is is file that will show that's something for new demo bucket yeah. understood right how it working Got now it. now i am going to create one bucket from the console a name Okay, this name is not unique. Means somebody has created it for other region. I'm going to check. Refresh that. So console bucket is created from my console, right? And you also recursive means uh, you you are also sync your bucket from your local drive to your S3. Okay. In that case, Hello, Kashi, you there? Ah, oh, yes, it's one minute. Some configuration setting is not there. I have to throw it in one minute. Uh 
I try to add some content inside the bucket on the WS This part is not provided. at this point. Okay. This one is not there, no? Okay, okay. Inside that bucket. Yes, okay. Hello. So, from to uh, for the only yesterday's session, I will show the next demo from tomorrow again. Hello. Yes, Karashi. Yes, yes, so that all and tomorrow is so that the entire bucket means uh, the code how you can upload over there and you have to how to host the static website in the SAS. Uh, okay, yes, these two things I will show tomorrow because time is not uh, it's four o'clock already, mm -hmm. and that's why the two or three things are pending on the S3 bucket. Okay, okay. one question, yes. Uh, that uh, explorer you just shown, uh, uh, that berry explorer something. Mm, cloud berry. Uh, cloud berry. So uh, is is that an open? Uh, is that an open source? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can uh, download. Achha. 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 Internet. There is no okay. any. Is being registered uh, under Amazon, or we have to download? It from no, no. Amazon? This this is treated as an agent. Okay, it means cloud berry has is a global place where you can access multiple clouds at a time. You can access as yeah. you AWS. Only you have provided your access key and secret key, and thus you can access uh -huh. their their storage account. Okay. 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 And, Got it. Things. Mm -hmm. and also you can go to that S3 browser. Mm -hmm. That that is another plugin that S3 browser. Same mm -hmm. thing. 
Mm -hmm. You have to provide your console logins and then you can upload. Okay. 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 Thank you. This is AWS. I prefer AWS CLI because yes. the, through that CLI, you can control your all S3 zones. Mm -hmm. You can also yes. upload, you can copy, you can download it. Same thing. Yeah, correct. Okay. So I'll stop my presentation as well as stop my recording. Okay. And